thanks again from the 11 plus tutors. Today I want to talk about something which sounds quite academic and abstract, Bloom's taxonomy, but actually it's pretty much what all education is. Uh, it's the way they're taught to think about levels of questions. So an exam paper will definitely, including the 11 plus, will definitely be designed by people that have been trained in this stuff, Bloom's taxonomy. And what it is, it's a hierarchy or a ladder of thinking skills or cognitive abilities. The, at the very base of this, the most basic task we can ask a kid to do is remember something. Just recall. So in a comprehension task, this could just be, you know, pulling out a fact from a piece of um, text or writing. To understand would be more to do with inference. So to read a piece of writing and maybe to draw a to, to understand, to read between the lines, to understand what's going on in the text is really understanding. And that comes above remembering. To be able to apply and analyse, these are the larger mark questions. Okay, so you're stepping up. This is more to do with maths, I would say, apply. So you'll get your base, these in maths would be, you know, what's a half plus a quarter, that type of thing. But applying might be a wordy question. We are asked to apply already learned skills, but applying them to a situation. Analyse. So this in comprehension would be not only understanding, but drawing conclusions from something. You know, what's actually, we understand what's going on, and what do we conclude from that? In maths, that might be a graph or chart question, and they might be asked to, under, to analyse what the trends are. You know, are temperatures going up in the summer months, for example, in that type of graph or chart? And could we draw comparisons with something else in the chart? That kind of analysis. Evaluate a higher level, even still. So you're taking information. Um, you're not only analysing it, looking for trends, you also, you really are drawing those conclusions from it. Create, now this is right at the top, I would say this is obviously to do creative writing. Um, where with creative writing, you're taking all the skills that you've learned so far and you're applying them to your own piece of writing. In as much as see that the levels of thinking required for these step up quite considerably. My thoughts are always that maths is difficult, okay, and yeah, I'd say probably at the high level um, of Bloom's taxonomy, you're talking about getting a maths question reversed from the way you'd expect it, and being able to do the inference, work an inference on it. So for, for example, in class three, so we'd be looking at averages, and then, but what if they give you the average and are asking for something else? Well, you're able to spin it on its head. You're able to look at the inference, sorry, the inverse, not inference. You're able to do the inverse. You do the opposite. So if you're dividing to get an average, you do the opposite. You just multiply to get a total, for example. That's probably around this level. But I would say, in my opinion, English is always the hardest one, you know, to get, because that's operating up right at this top end. I always, I've always said to parents that it's probably easier to get a young child ahead in maths than it is to get them ahead in English, because I think that these skills are so high level that it takes a certain level of maturity to get there. And we often find that quite late in the academic year, kids start picking up with these, they really do. You know, in the summer months, we start seeing a spark occur with these things, because they're just that bit more grown up by the time you get to the summer. Earlier in the year, they're struggling to get above this kind of level in English. I hope this has helped you to some degree to understand the way examiners are looking at this. And obviously, these are higher mark questions. These are just the one or two marks. So in the maths, part A will 
usually be this stuff. And then we get down to B, you're going up the ladder. Part C is around here, and you're doing inverse and all sorts of stuff in maths. In the English, however, the new style of CSC paper, we've seen fewer questions now with larger marks. We've just seen more questions that cover more of this a larger range of this spectrum. That's what we're seeing now, and I mentioned that in my last YouTube video. I hope you found that in interesting. Maybe you'll go away and Google this stuff or go on YouTube and find out some more, but I hope that's got you thinking about the way the people that design, design exam papers think about this stuff, because what they're trying to do is measure and reward people with high level cognitive skills, cognitive abilities, thinking skills. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you and goodbye.